All right, hey guys, so I'm shooting this at work because people asked and uh, just goofing around. If you want to, I'm, I'm still, Jerry's still out on whether uh, there actually is a running change to Starscream to pin his chest. Uh, we've seen one photo of it and allegedly, and then they, but nobody else has found it. If they are, great. I would love to see that happen. But uh, just for the sake of, of doing it, I spent 10 minutes, it literally took about 10 minutes last night pinning uh, the chest onto my star screen with two small pins here right through this hole and so now you can uh, untab his chest it comes up um, and uh, you can see I can hold it by it and shake it it's pinned in it's not coming loose now I can't because of the short nature of these pins it's gonna be a pain in the butt to remove them to start this whole process from the beginning but how I did it um, and it, it only took like a couple of small tools. I had a pair of little snips, uh, however you want to have them. Uh, and depending on what type of pin you, you pin material you use, um, you might be able to find some pins that, from other toys that are long enough and you don't have to do anything. But uh, it, it, this will take a little bit of effort. Um, some snips, a small little penny nail, and you want the penny nail to be just a little smaller than the hole in the side of the chest. Uh, for a couple different reasons, but mostly because the, the part of the reason this pops off is because as you lift it up, there is some leverage there. And so if you use something too big that completely, one, that completely fills this hole, there, there, there could be some stress and you could end up ripping one of these joint bits uh, with, with the pin. And I feel like that's the reason that it wasn't in the final product, like, cause it looks like they were thinking about it, but this uh, gray support beam has specifically molded nubs to attach inside here to hold the chest piece on. So it's not like they just didn't pin it. It's not a matter of like the pin is just missing. This would have, this gray piece would have to be modified to allow the pin to be inserted. And it's not molded in a way that they just forgot to drill it out. It has specifically molded nubs uh, to, to attach the chest piece. So who knows? Um, I, I don't know what the thought process is. It, it, it definitely looks like at one point they were considering pinning it and they probably changed it for a breakage reason would be my guess but so anyway so and then so you've got the, the penny nail some snips and uh, a pin vise now this is just a little hand drill uh, with with a small drill bit again you want the, the drill bit to be just slightly smaller in diameter than your penny nail because you want it to be when you push it through you want it to have the friction to stay in otherwise it'll just keep falling out and it won't do you any good now this was a cheap little one i got off amazon and you can unscrew the back of this and inside there's a little tube that has all the bits in it really neat all-in-one little pin vise and because it's uh you just use hand pressure to drill it, it it's it's less likely to go completely off the rails very quickly like a power drill would. So basically all you have to do is take this and to start, you like to drill all the way through, I took the chest piece off, but just to start, I took this pin vise and I just slid it into the hole and just started to drill just a little bit, just to kind of mark on the gray piece where I wanted the hole to go through. And then I popped the chest piece off and then drilled straight through uh, with the pin vise until it came all the way through and, just, and then just kind of cleaned it out a little bit. Uh, and then it's just a matter of, I took the, uh, the snips, uh, I cut off the sharp tip of the, uh, of the nail, and then I slid it in until it hit the other side of the silver piece. And then I kind of right here grabbed it, like use these snips along the side of the chest to kind of mark where to cut it, and then pull the pin out, or pull the nail out, snipped the, uh, snipped the pin like this. You wanna, you wanna do it like facing down because a lot of times with the pressure, whatever pieces you're not holding, the side you're not holding on to is going to go shooting off. So if you hold it down close to whatever surface you're working on, uh, or you could even have like a small cup or something, make sure that that piece doesn't go flying off where you're never going to find it. And then you just take that, that uh, cut pin and slide it in. It only took one nail to do both pins on each side. Uh, and that's all there is to it. You just push it in there, slide it in the hole, and then use whatever little, like a small hammer if you have a toolkit, or uh, you can even just use the end of, like I said, these snips have a flat end on the inside. I can flip it around. Like I just used the, the tip of that and then just pushed it the rest of the way in. And uh, and that's all there is to it. And then you've got a pinned star screen. It's a very easy fix. Um, I do, Like I said, I do recommend uh, do this at your own risk because there is the possibility. I haven't noticed any stress on mine, but uh, here, let me get this, open them up here. 
but oh, cool. like I said th these are not super thick especially when you drill the hole through it so you want to make sure to drill mostly through the center that's why you don't want to use too big of a pin because even though this this nail is not quite doesn't quite fill the entire uh, hole that's drilled there um, it has a little bit of and it, 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 you can see it's not super wiggly it's not like loose or anything and it, it's certainly way lo less loose than it was before where it would just fly off but you want to have a little bit of space so you're not completely stressing that because there is the way this kind of levers down around here there could end up being some stress points that could either tear the plastic here or inside the gray piece so uh, not ha not using a completely full pin uh, alleviates that a little bit um, and again you do want to be careful drilling through the gray plastic because if you get too close to the side again the, the pressure of the, of the leverage coming around these pieces uh, could conceivably cause the pin to rip through the hole you've drilled so just be aware of that but it stays on like I said it's nice and solid if it is a running change great I'll, if I see if it, it turns out to be a legit running change and I see one in the store I'll probably pick up a second star scream but um, if you have the right tools, and like I said, this was only, uh, geez, I think I got this for like six bucks on Amazon several years ago. It's been, a, it's, it, this has been a huge help in repairing and modifying figures. This, uh, a center punch, and uh, really this and a center punch <laughs> have been in, in a small, like eight, eight dollar huge, like watch repair kit that lets you have, that comes with a little hammer and things to knock out pins have been cheap and essential tools to modding a lot of my figures but that's how you do it there's a tutorial for how to give your star scream some pins there in the chest hinge and uh like i said be careful when you're doing it but with a little care and not a whole lot of time you can secure that chest piece and just to confirm there it is in, in vehicle mode with the pins in so it's like fully transformable nothing changes so uh nice secure a quick easy mod and uh, if you're gonna attempt it like I said just be careful go slow take your time and uh, best of luck if you're, if you're gonna attempt it it's a, it's a fairly simple mod if you know what you're doing and uh, it definitely improves the figure I think it gives it just that last little bit of extra oomph so I'm not worried about that chest piece flying off